Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erin and we're gonna do a weekly reading vlog. I'm going to attempt to. Today is Tuesday after Indigenous Peoples Day. I think that's what it's being transitioned to from Columbus Day. Um, cause Columbus was an asshole, to put it bluntly. <laughs> but I just finished filming my October TVR. It was super late and I am obviously not in class right now. I mean, not on my class right now since I do Zoom classes, you know what I mean? Um, but I have class again at 3.30, which is in a little bit. It's like 2.30 right now, maybe 2.40. Um, and before my class starts, I want to get a video up. Uh, so I need to edit it first. <laughs> um, get a video up, edit it, and then, um, I also should probably do some homework and then after class I will probably have some more homework to do but I want to get some more audiobook listening in and also play some Animal Crossing. That's been something that's super relaxing for me. I spent my whole weekend doing that. Uh, reading vlog should already be up for that. Um, that's one of the videos that I need to edit. I'm also editing my October TBR and gonna try and get that up today. Uh, so lots of editing lots of video stuff which is do you guys like hearing about video stuff or is that super boring like just cut it out I want to know um but let's talk about what is on like my reading list for the week so we have Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare I would love to finish this this week I don't know how feasible that is I'm on page 288 and there are about 500 pages so I have about 200 left to go and I'm flipping back between physical, physical, I was going to say audio at the same time. That wasn't working. Physical and audio. Um, so yeah, I will probably do audiobook for a little bit today and then switch back to physical and listen to music while I do that. Uh, but the other one that I'm listening to solely on audiobook is The Diviners by Libba Bray, which is perfect for this time of year as I've been like recommended in every spooky recommendation video ever. Uh, not me specifically, but like, you know, everybody recommends this for this time of year. But yeah, I'm really excited. I started this this morning in my shower and I'm not very far in, to be honest. I am... I'm literally 12 pages in. Like I said, started this this morning and listened to it for a little bit in the shower. It is quite a lengthy audiobook. It's 18 hours long, but I'm really enjoying it. And that is the recommended way to read this story. So, but yeah, um, other than that, don't know if I'll pick up anything. I really don't want to overwhelm myself with reading plans. Um, and I kind of did with filming my October TBR. I didn't put very much on my list, but at the same time, I did considering what I did and didn't read last month. So a little stressed out, but hopefully it will be fine. Um, I have one more class today, like I mentioned, and some homework to get done. I don't really have anything crazy going on. I don't think I have too much homework for this week. As of right now, I have five assignments to hand in, maybe six. I have an English thing that I need to post, which is halfway done. I have an assignment that I literally already thought was handed in, but someone said that like it wasn't available to hand in online, so apparently I didn't hand that in. Uh, gotta hand that in. Uh, I have two juvenile delinquency assignments that I need to do still, and then I have slides for one class, like lecture slides that I need to hand in. Um, which are done. I just need to wait for that post to be available. So I technically only have two and a half assignments that I need to do. I should probably do them today. So hopefully it stays that way and my week isn't crazy busy with homework. I'm going to try and relax and just enjoy my time as much as possible this week. Um, but yeah, I just figured I would start this reading vlog. I enjoyed doing my reading vlog immensely over the weekend and so I would like to try and vlog this week but if there is an abrupt stop then something went awry with my mental health which is honestly bound to happen. I don't want to manifest that but it has happened like pretty much every week and it's never like anything bad. It's just like I can't vlog 
so i have nothing else to say i'll check in with you guys later it is currently 12 38 and i'm freaking exhausted today i edited two videos got what up for you guys proud of that did a decent amount of homework did all of my lectures and everything that i had to do um and i managed to read and play animal crossing like i wanted to do I'm not entirely sure how far into the diviners I ended up getting. I think it was like an hour or two, which is not bad considering the day that I've had. It was just super busy with school stuff, unfortunately. Um, but right now I'm exhausted, so I'm going to go to bed. Maybe play a little bit more Animal Crossing before I fall asleep and listen to the diviners. Um, and then... Hopefully tomorrow's not as busy. It probably will be, but I'm praying it's not. It's gonna be, damn it. <laughs> Tomorrow, I have three classes, pretty much all back to back. I have one one hour break in there. And then I imagine I'm gonna have to help stack wood for quite a bit, a couple hours at least. And then I have a phone call at seven and then, no. I'll have to do homework. Yay me. There's still one assignment that I like. There are two assignments that I should probably finish tonight. But I'm too tired. I'll wake up and do them in the morning. So. It's whatever. I just can't right now, you know? So. Uh, yeah, I just figured I would update you. Really proud of myself for editing the reading vlog from this weekend just sitting down and doing it because I typically dread doing reading vlogs not filming them but editing them when I have to edit them all in one go because it's 30 minutes of me just talking <laughs> and it's like rambling it's not structured in any way and so it's like shut up <laughs> so anybody else who makes videos does anyone else feel that way when they're editing or is that like just a me thing and I should probably work on self-love <laughs> which I should probably work on anyway but I want to know if I'm alone or not. So, anyway, I didn't want to leave you hanging. Um, I think I got like two hours into the Diviners, which is one ninth of the book. So, not very far. I'm 100% rambling now. Okay. I love you all. I'll check in tomorrow. I don't know if it'll be in the morning, but I'm going to try and get an early start. Don't know how likely that is since I'm going to bed at 12 30, but you know, miracles happen every once in a while. So, Pray for me. Pray for a miracle. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. It is currently 11.03, and I just finished a my first class of the morning. It was my English class. Um, pardon my appearance. I know I just look so good right now. It's probably overwhelming, but <laughs> I haven't gotten ready yet. I just made some coffee. And I'm having my yogurt for breakfast because I should probably start getting in a habit of eating three meals a day instead of like one. Um, I just get so busy. I'm like, man, skip it. Which I need to stop doing. Um, but like I said, I just finished my English class. Got a homework assignment. I got two homework assignments in that. One is paper due on Monday. And the other one is, like, just a short little response. So, I do need to get going on those. Um, right now, I have about 55 minutes until my next class. But I'm gonna find something to do with myself. Whether it be catch up on some booktube videos that I really want to watch while I'm eating my breakfast. And then do some homework. I'm not really sure. But, anyway. Um gonna chill for a little bit and then I have two more classes which are back to back yay me and then I get out of class at 3 p.m and I need to text my stepdad to see if he needs help moving wood because I'm pretty sure I'm supposed to do that today so uh yeah not a very exciting day I updated you guys last night I haven't read anything since then because I've been doing class and sleeping, obviously. I just wanted to say good morning, hello. Um, hopefully tonight I can read. I would like to read Clockwork Prince if I can and read it physically, but um, I just figured I'd say hello. That's really it. 
Okay. Adios. You guys, I'm so excited. It's 12.08 and I quickly unloaded the dishwasher and did like boring chore stuff. But I was stressing out because I didn't have enough time to do everything that I wanted to do because I took too much time to sit here on my butt and do nothing. But I just hopped onto my Zoom class and my professor was like, I have a situation that I need to attend to. So I don't have anything to do until 1.30. I have an hour and a half, which is so nice. So I think... I'm gonna do some laundry, take a shower, and maybe film a video? Not really sure, but I'm gonna try and make the most of this hour that I now have. So, really, really pumped. Really, just, it's really nice. I only have one class, uh, and that gets out at three, and I just found out that I don't have to move wood or anything, so, yay. I'm so excited. I have so much free time. I just feel so liberated. It's a real it's shaping up to be a really good day. I didn't have high hopes because I have a lot of class I have three classes today and oh sounds like Aslan needs attention. Um I didn't have high hopes because I have to get up early on Wednesdays and I have a lot of classes, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, but it's a really good day. So now I'm gonna go do more cleaning stuff, which like de-stresses me. And then I'm gonna do some video stuff. And I'm just so excited. It's just, the day is full of opportunity. I can do whatever I want. This is amazing. Okay, hi guys. It is 12.15, still Monday. Um, and, or no, it's 1.15, yikes. It's 1.15, I have 15 minutes before my class. I'm gonna grab lunch here in a second. Um, and sit down and log on and everything, but I wanted to talk a little bit more about The Diviners by Libba Bray because I didn't really give much of a synopsis and now I am three hours into the audiobook, which is still not very far into this book since it is super long, but I do know a little bit more about what's going on and I just wanted to kind of explain it in case you didn't know and maybe were interested. So basically, this is, like I said, set in 1920s London not London. Clockwork Prince is London. This is Manhattan. Yikes. 1920s Manhattan. Uh, Prohibition is going on. There are flappers, etc. I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with the 20s. Um, but anyway, so the main character, Evie O'Neill, it starts off in Ohio. She has this birthday party and they use a Ouija board. And then she ends up being able to like reveal someone's secret by holding an object of theirs and revealing that secret gets her into a lot of trouble publicly and so her family sends her off to live with her uncle in Manhattan and from there we get to know a bunch of different characters and I'm sure I haven't met them all yet but uh, we are meeting a bunch of different characters from various different settings that have powers not necessarily similar to Evie, but they get the same sensation and um, they're all just very unique. And so these people are called diviners uh, and they haven't all like converged and met yet, which I'm assuming is going to happen. But so far we've met Evie, obviously, Memphis and Ruby. And I don't know if Ruby's gonna end up being a diviner or not. Um, I don't want to give too much away with where we're at. Uh, and then I think Sam ends up being a main character and we've run into him, but we haven't like discovered more about his power or anything. So right now I am on Memphis's chapter and just learned that he has the power to heal, which is super cool. Evie, her um, unique power is that she can hold objects from people and if she concentrates on them long enough then she learns things about the people that like they didn't want necessarily to be true or just like things in general so uh super interesting and we've also met who i think will be the big bad but i don't know what really their plan is so yeah i'm three hours in let me see how far away or how far in i am actually I'm currently 80 pages in, which like literally looks like nothing in this book. Um, 
But yeah, loving it. Just wanted to give a more thorough summary. I think I'm gonna annotate this while I read along, which means I have some catching up to do. So I'm gonna pause reading it or like listening to the audiobook for a little bit just so that I can catch up and then be following along with my annotations. But yeah, uh, I have one more class today and then I'm free. <laughs> I do have some homework to do, but hopefully it won't take too long. So I'm gonna go eat lunch and then I will check in when I have some more time to kind of talk to you. Okay guys, so it is around 3.30 I want to say, and you just saw me annotate the diviners as far as I am, which turns out I'm 80 pages in. I think I said it was 85. I'm 80 pages. I'm 80 pages in. Um, so right now I'm going to turn the audio, audio book. I wish I could speak. Right now I'm going to turn the audiobook back on for that and continue listening and probably play some Animal Crossing so that I can relax after all my classes today and then I'll probably dive into some homework a little bit later. I am so thoroughly enjoying the story I don't want to stop listening to this audiobook um, and I'm loving learning what all the different characters um, like powers are. I think it's so so cool so. Yeah, I just figured I'd check in. Definitely going to continue listening to this. I might end up taking a nap because I am pretty tired, but we'll just see where the day takes us. <laughs> zoom lectures right now and exhausted uh this morning i was loading some wood um for like two and a half hours uh which was just so fun um so i'm really tired from that and also i didn't get like tons of sleep so um i'm trying to decide right now if i want to be productive or if i want to take a nap and I think I'm gonna end up being productive even though I really want to take a nap. I have one assignment that like is just looming over my head um and if I get that done then I'll just take a nap call it a day but I really need to do this assignment so it will it shouldn't take me very long it's just a short answer question that's literally it 
Um, so I need to do that. I ate lunch, which you just saw. Um, sorry, I'm really tired. I ordered a book, which is super exciting. Uh, I want to see if you guys can guess which book I ordered. Uh, it's an exclusive edition. Um, it's a recent release, so I am so, so, so excited about that. I haven't bought a book in a really long time, uh, and it won't be in for a while, but maybe there will be a book haul in the near future. Um, I don't know, though. I... I, like, haven't been buying any books, but I might buy a couple more. Now, there probably honestly won't be a book haul. Fast forward two weeks later, I have, like, 70 books now. Um, <laughs> there probably won't be a book haul. I'm trying really hard to save money, so when I do buy a book for myself, it's, like, a lot of consideration has gone into this, so. Uh, I listened to The Diviners while I was stacking wood this morning, and... I don't know how far in I am, but we learned what Sam's power is, and that is super exciting. Saturday, I'm cleaning all day, and so I'll probably just have the audiobook going in the back. I don't know how much reading, realistically, I'll get done tonight or anything. Uh, probably listen to a little bit more of The Diviners, but I don't think I'll be able to pick up Clockwork Prints, unfortunately. It's just the reality of the situation, so... But, yeah, I just figured I'd update you guys. I also need to get a thumbnail done so that I can post a video either today or tomorrow. And I have homework. I have a test that I have to take tomorrow. It's just college is really, really uh, putting me through the ringer. And I'm so grateful that I have the opportunity to go to college. Uh, but at the same time, it's very stressful and it's a lot of work so I try and be grateful but at the same time it's like can I just take a nap though <laughs> like I went to it at 1 30 last night I just couldn't fall asleep and then I had to wake up at like 8 39 this morning and I know other people have it worse but I'm tired <laughs> I'm just rambling now, so I'm gonna go, but. Hello everyone, it's been so long since we've had a car update. I haven't really been getting out of my house that much, just to be honest. Um, with school and everything, I don't need to go anywhere. And I have so much homework that I'm not really doing anything, so I'm just always at home. But getting out of the house today, going to the bookstore, so freaking excited about it. Right now, I'm on my way to Barnes & Noble to do some book shopping. Last night I was on Amazon and there's so many books that I want and I haven't treated myself in a while. And I know I literally said earlier in this vlog, I bought one book. Well, last night I bought another one and then I bought an ebook and I finished it and I read it. Oh yeah, I have a reading update. <laughs> I, we'll get to that in a second. But anyway, I'm a type of person that if I don't spend, like if I don't spend money for a really long time, I will end up spending all of it at once. <laughs> And so it's better for me to spend in small increments and me going to the bookstore doesn't guarantee that I will buy anything. Um, but I'm allowing myself the option to buy something. So I'm bringing a limited amount of money with me. So that's literally all I have to spend. Um, and it's not all of it, which is good. Uh, but yeah, and like I said, it doesn't mean that I'm going to buy anything, but I, I'm allowing myself to have the option which I typically don't, so I'm excited to be there and possibly get books and maybe film a book haul, like, I don't know. I don't know where the day is gonna take me, but I also have a bunch of homework that I need to do, but I'm gonna give myself a break because school's been really stressful lately and I'm tired and I need a break, so yeah. My uh, reading update is that I downloaded 
and finished The Poems for the End of the World by Katie Lismer last night. It's a poetry collection, her second one. She's a self-published indie author and she's absolutely amazing. I have read two of her three books and I, both of them were the poetry collections. I haven't read The Anti-Virginity Pact yet, not because like I don't want to, I just haven't gotten around to it um, and I need to order it. So, but freaking five stars. It's like a 4.75 because Sweetest Kind of Poison was like five out of five stars. Immaculate, my favorite poetry collection freaking ever. And so I don't think anything will top that for me, at least not for a while. Um, but it was amazing. There were poems that I reread over and over and over again, and I found new things in them every single time, and it was just amazing. So highly recommend this. It's only four dollars on for the ebook. So if you are able to, uh, it was so freaking good. You should definitely read it. But yes, still listening to The Diviners. I'm on chapter 54. Um, I'm not quite halfway, but I'm still hoping to get some more reading done. I might end up reading Clockwork Prince later tonight or over the weekend, but I don't know how realistic that is since I have to do I have to write a paper, I have to take a test, I have to submit some more assignments. It's just a little crazy right now with school, so I'm gonna quickly go to the bookstore and come back. Uh, and when I say quickly, I mean I'll be there for an hour and a half. I have to make dinner with my mom and hang out with her, and then she'll be gone for the day tomorrow, and I have a job like cleaning and stuff tomorrow all day. So, great time to listen to, uh, to my audiobooks. Uh, I also like, saved a bunch of new audiobooks on Scribd that I'm so freaking excited about so I don't know if I'll talk about those in this vlog or next week's vlog but super pumped I have so many audiobooks ready to go that I'm so freaking pumped to listen to so anyway I'm gonna go to the bookstore this was supposed to be a quick update but it wasn't uh it's 5 p.m all I've done today is pretty much nothing I showered and I edited part of this vlog and listened to the diviners and played animal crossing so not really productive but anyway this has been my car update I'll see you later you guys I am the worst at making decisions I was in there so long holding these two books that I'm about to show you that I did end up getting um like for so long and I was like mm, do I want them I don't know I can't tell I was like oh but there are so many other books I want and then I literally had to sit back and go Erin there are always so many other books I want. just buy them you want these like you can't stop reading them so don't be stupid so got two books um one okay both of these are the most beautiful covers I've literally ever seen they're very different vibes, but they're still both stunning in their own ways. So the first one is The House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. This has been compared to, um, what's it called? The Wayward Children series so many times. And that's like one of my favorite series of all time, if not my favorite series of all time. So had to get this and I started reading the first couple pages and I'm just like already enamored with it. I don't know why, but I'm obsessed with it and literally when I picked it up my heart like had butterflies <laughs> so had to get this one so excited then I picked up one that I didn't even mark on Goodreads um and that is A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik that took me too many tries um I started reading this in the bookstore obviously I started reading both of these and oh good someone's getting in their car next to me that's not embarrassing at all anyway um I started reading these both of them in the bookstore and got like six pages into each of them they're adult fantasy books I didn't realize the house in the cerulean sea was adult fantasy um but whatever the main character is so freaking sassy and spunky and I love her and so I had to get it um it's also not very long which was interesting to me I was expecting it to be longer, but so excited. Definitely going to go home and probably end up reading one of those. And now someone's just pulling up in front of me now, so I have to leave, but I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Morning, everyone. It is Saturday, October 17th, I believe. Um, and we have a really busy day today. It's around 11.15 in the morning and I'm getting a pretty late start to the day. I just got ready and got dressed and everything. I don't know why I do that to myself. I literally woke up at 7.30 and kept going back to sleep.
I could have been productive with that time. Anyway, it's a thing of the past, can't change it now. So let's talk about what I read yesterday, kind of what I did last night, and then what's on the docket for today, um, because there's quite a bit. So I probably won't be able to talk to you guys a ton today, unfortunately, but hopefully tomorrow things will be a little bit more lax and I can kind of close out this vlog as one big happy hurrah, whatever. Okay, so last night I did listen to a little bit more of The Diviners by Libba Bray. This is just the dust jacket. The book is in the living room. Um, I don't know exactly how far in I am, maybe like a third of the way, just under halfway, like, I don't know. So, uh, still really enjoying this. It got a little spooky last night, so I had to stop listening because I was listening to it before I went to sleep and I was like, nope, I'm getting scared. But I'm planning on listening to the audiobook for this today while I clean. And then I also started A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik. Uh, I didn't get very far. I got 40 pages in, so that's chapter three, but I am thoroughly enjoying this and I'm so excited. So I'm gonna continue reading this maybe this weekend, which, you know, I didn't intend to do, but I'm just enamored with it already. This world is so freaking cool. I can't really tell you what it's about because to be honest, I don't really know. The best way that I can describe it is from this little thing in here, and I'm not talking about the part that's supposed to tell you what the book is about, because that really doesn't. <laughs> the story of an unwilling dark sorceress who is destined to rewrite the rules of magic, and then at the bottom it says, with flawless mastery, Naomi Novik creates a heroine for the ages, a character so sharply realized and so richly nuanced that she will come, that she will live on in hearts and minds for generations to come. Okay, so actually that doesn't tell you anything. So it's just this little piece that tells you something. Um, but there are so many freaking blurbs on the back and this book is just like one of my favorite covers of all time. I'm thinking about doing a video of like my favorite book covers that I own, but that's besides the point. Um, okay, so on the docket for today, or let's start with what I did last night. Let's go in chronological order, how about? What I did last night. So I told you what I read. I also edited up until I I edited everything that I have up until this clip in the vlog which I'm super proud of because typically I'll edit the vlog all together and that can be like really stressful and overwhelming because my vlogs are typically pretty long um so that's really nice hopefully I can get it up on like Monday for you guys sorry there will be two reading vlogs in a row but I don't think you guys care you guys seem to really like my vlogs which Thank you, I appreciate that. And I've worked really hard on this one to make it like fun and have cute montages. So hopefully it's okay. Let me know if you like that style of editing or those clips. And if you don't, I won't include them ever again, but I thought it was fun. Um, so I think that's pretty much all I did last night aside from like reading and eating dinner and boring stuff like that. Um, and then on the docket for today, I have to go clean. Um, not my house, but somebody else's house. I'm getting paid to clean it, which is really nice. Um, so while I'm doing that, I'm going to listen to my audiobook since no one's there. So it's just me in a big empty house. Um, and then I have to take my sociology test today. Uh, it's due at midnight and it typically doesn't take me very long. So that should be fine. I'm just a little stressed because I did the homework for it a really long time ago. And so I don't remember what's going to be on the test so I need to like redo some homework questions to kind of study for that so I have to do that um I have an assignment that I, I have a couple of assignments that I need to hand in and then I need to start my English paper that's due on Monday um and I think those are all of like the really big things that I have to get done today uh if I'm able to complete all of those in a decent amount of time I want to read some more of this because like I said I'm just so enamored with it. The magic system is so freaking cool. Um, it's like they are in this school and there's this magical void and you can persuade the school to do things and so like if you go down a corridor at night and you're thinking oh something's gonna jump out at me it can be persuaded to have things jump out and attack you. Um, but at the same time, like, if you just believe that water is going to run, water is going to run. But if everyone stops believing that, it's not going to run. Which I just think is so cool is, like, you put your belief in the magic and the magic, like, comes back to you. I just think that's 
the most unique thing I've personally ever read. Yeah, I don't think I have much of an update. I guess Clockwork Prince is just out the window for this reading vlog, unfortunately. I know I said at the beginning that I was hoping to finish it and I literally haven't picked it up once, but it's fine. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. I really do need to get going, so I'll talk to you guys later. Maybe put some clips of me cleaning in. That's fun and exciting. No, uh, but, you know, whatever. So, I'll talk to you guys later, and yeah. Hi, guys. First of all, yes, I am 100% wearing Christmas pajama bottoms. What are you gonna do about it? I'm manifesting. It is currently midnight on technically Sunday, but we're gonna call it Saturday. Um, and I'm so, so tired. I had the longest day today. I was cleaning until like 7.30. I got home, ate dinner, showered, studied, took my test, and then I got a phone call and I've been on the phone for like an hour or so. Um, and I think I am going to go to bed, but I figured I'd give you a reading update for the day. So I didn't end up really being able to read anything in Deadly Education. I just read like three pages of it, but I'm so freaking tired that I don't think I'll get past that. And then in the Diviners, I read 175 pages, which gets me to page 303 just over halfway i'm 52 percent of the way through i believe is what goodreads said so really pleased with that um i don't think i'm gonna be able to finish this this weekend unfortunately but i started it this week and it's a nearly 600 page book so i'm not too too upset about that i would like to get to 75 percent of the way through tomorrow if i can and maybe get to chapter four in this. I'm setting my expectations and my hopes low because I have a paper due that I need to write tomorrow, which shouldn't be too bad. But other than that, I don't really think I have too much. I have like a couple of homework assignments to do, but again, they shouldn't take me too long. So we'll see where the day takes us tomorrow, but I think that's going to be it for me tonight. I will talk to you tomorrow. Loving this. This is so good. I'm obsessed with it. And also, we're getting deeper into the mystery in this one, and I'm really, really enjoying that. I'm too tired to thoroughly give my thoughts on these books, and I just attempted to do it, and it was a mess. So I'm going to cut all of that out, and I'll give you my real coherent thoughts tomorrow when my brain is functioning. So, Hi guys! Um, so it is around 5 p.m. on Sunday evening, I guess, uh, and I haven't really gotten much reading done today. We'll talk about that in a second, but I wanted to close out this reading vlog because, like I said yesterday, I have a paper to write and a couple of assignments to get done, and so any reading that I do tonight, I'll just update in next week's vlog, presuming that there is one, which as of right now, there will be, but obviously... My mental health is, you know, a roller coaster, so I never can guarantee. But uh, I wanted to wrap up this week's reading vlog and what I read for the week and just kind of close it out. So sorry that there weren't any more fun clips, but that's just kind of the way that today panned out. So um, I didn't read any of Clockwork Prince, which is unfortunate, but oh well. Uh, I really did enjoy everything that I read this week. I only finished one book and that was Poems for the End of the World by Katie Wismer. I gave that a 5 out of 5 stars, 4.75. Um, thoroughly enjoyed it, highly recommend. And then I started and got to page 388 in The Diviners by Libba Bray. That's 66% of the way through and this is a pretty long book so I'm pretty pleased with that. I'm gonna try and finish it within the next couple of days. And then for physical reading I read A Deadly Education by Naomi Novik and I got 44 pages into this and I'm thoroughly enjoying this and intend to continue it next week. So not my best reading week, but definitely not my worst. And I'm still reading every single day, which is what I'm more concerned with rather than like, you know, the amount of books that I'm finishing just so that I'm in the habit of reading. Um, 
so I'm really pleased with that. I hope that you guys enjoyed this reading vlog. Sorry if it wasn't the most entertaining. Um, and I'm sorry that I'm posting two reading vlogs back to back. I hope you guys don't care. I don't think that you will, but uh, hopefully I can film another video this week and get that posted for you guys. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope you're doing well reading mentally and otherwise, and I will talk to you all in my next video. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.